Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to do lead code weekly challenge. First question, number of common factors. Before starting with this question, uh, let me, uh, because the thing is like, or let us just start this question. <laughs> that would be better. I'll let you know at the end. Means stay tuned till the end. I'll let you know something. So that's it. So now here the thing is, let let us first read this particular question, and then about the constraint, and then we will be building up what are the intuitions behind this particular question. As you can see, the number of common vectors. So basically, this question is straight forward as per on the basis of mathematical things only. So yeah, accordingly, its time complexity and space complexity would be. But this is straight forward a mathematical question. So let us first read about this question. And then we'll take the constraint. So, given two positive integers a and b, return number of common factors a and b. In our junior classes, we used to do that. How we are required to figure out the common factors between two numbers, right? So today we will be doing that in the coding form. So that would be the thing which we will be doing here. And the thing which they want from us is that an integer x, which is common factor of a and b. And if x divide and it is common factor only if divides a and b both. So from here only we got the hint that this thing we are required to convert into a coding criteria. So here we are given with a is equal to 12, b is equal to 6, right? So the common factors as there are just four common factors, right? And which four are those? In 12 and 6, the common factors are 1, 2, 3, and 6, right? So that's why our answer is four, because we are required to return the how many common factors are there, not the common factors, but the how many common factors are there, and then twenty five and thirty. So here we are having this one and five only the common factors. So that's why we are returning the answer as two. So now comes the part that constraint. So basically, her constraint is that a is basically it will be starting means a would be one means. The a and b are basically starting from one, not from the zero, because we are required to figure out the common factor. If it have been zero, then surely we won't be able to figure out the common factor, right? So that's why a is basically starting from one, and the b is going till thousand, and same goes for the uh, r a also. So here you can see that basically the constraint given to us are in such a manner means constraints are much lower. Right, so that's why we can easily go ahead with the brute force solution as well. But here, because of being mathematical solution, that's why it will be straightforward only. Means not much regarding the complexity of time and so on. So let us go ahead. That how we are going to do this question. So now the thing is. Let us take this first example, six and twelve. As we are required to figure out with the common factor, right? So first we will be checking that out of these two, which is the minimum. So that is six, right? So we are required to figure out all the numbers which are basically completely divisible by six also and twelve also, but till six, because after six to twelve numbers which would be there, there won't be. Under the range which are divisible by six, so that's why. Now we got a number as six, right? So six would be the one. Now comes the part that how we are required to figure out all the common factors. So factors are those numbers which are completely divisible by a particular number, right? That's for sure. Now we will be going from i is equal to one to i is equal to six because our minimum number is six, right? So now, how we will be checking is that if six modulo i equal equal to zero, and and twelve modulo i equal equal to zero, then we will be incrementing our count. So this is the main thing which we would be doing. Because of this, we are able to figure out that this i is basically divisible by six, and because of this, we are able to figure out that. This i is basically divisible by 
because here you can see it is zero and here it is also zero basically modulo gives us remainder and if the remainder is zero that simply means that that particular number is completely divisible by that number so that's the whole thing here and because we are required with a common factor so that's why we are using and and if it won't have been the common factor if it would have been either of the factors right then in that particular criteria we won't have been taking even the minimum and we won't have been taking even the and and then we would have taken or so that's the scenario so these are the few points although this is a basic level question but this basic level question only teaches us a lot of things means if we are beginner in dsa then and even if we are pro enough still let, let us to revise our basic concepts so here this would be the thing and after this particular loop will end right then at the end we would be returning our count and this count is basically our answer so this is the thing which we are required to do in this question so before we head towards the coding part of this question let me tell you newton school is basically going ahead with some more coding competition where you would be getting some more exciting prizes so you could enroll on the competition and the uh, link for the description uh, link for the same you could find in the description of this particular question so the thing is that as you are practicing on lead code bi weekly weekly and even if you practice on newton school coding competition as well it would be much more practice for you right so and even you are getting much more exciting prizes as well which you could directly check in the link which is being there in description so you could directly head over there and enroll in the same that would be like much useful for you so this is the thing which i wanted to let you know and the most exciting part of this is that your practice would be completely done and the thing is that if you are able to get into top a performers then you will surely be getting prizes for this thing so that's one of the most exciting thing for this thing so yeah this was all now comes the part for the coding and even the thing is like the registration is free of cost so there is no harm to register in the same so that's why you can directly register here so now here's the coding part as we were do uh, as i told that first we will be checking what is the minimum out of them so that's why we are taking that and then we are running a loop from that particular one to that particular minimum number and then we are checking that modulo of a is zero and modulo of b with that i is zero then we are incrementing the count and at the end we are returning the answer basically our count so this was all for this particular question i hope you like the explanation and if you like the explanation please do like and subscribe to my channel and also do share among your friends so this was all for today's video if you have any doubt you can comment down in the comment section or not only uh, doubt regarding this question but regarding anything you could then comment it down because uh, when i will be having the live session if a, uh, a particular doubt is not solvable in the comment section then i can solve that in the live session so that would be like pretty much helpful right so this was all for this particular video i now let us head towards the second question of today's contest so that would be next video so i'll upload the same okay